Steve. Just tell us about it a bit. There's water all the way up. The water up here. here. Yeah. Yeah. Approximately a metre and a half deep to our left. And this is at least two feet over the top of the bank here, on my right hand side. How far are we now from Lightning Ridge Town? Oh, we're only about five kilometres. Three kilometres in a straight line. And when did this happen? Two months ago. When just, the floods are on. Just after Christmas. That's correct. And if I swing around now... As you swing around, you'll see the road that we built up heading towards the dam. We had to actually renew the road. Yes. As you can see the mud and the tracks, and on the right hand side you see where the actual mud it. is and where the bird life starts, where the ducks actually start. Oh, yes. It's here on the right, right hand side. I'll just go... But you said this is one of the original road trains. What do you mean by the original road train? Original trains? road train. Yeah, what do you mean by that now? Well, it used to tow another three carriages behind it. Taking the rock to where? No, not so much taking rock as in taking bales of wool, as in taking produce, oh. as in a road train. And that's the story the that Karen has told. For today, the road trains. This is originally the original one. And that's what the story is that Karen has told in the mural on the wall at the neighbourhood centre. Here we are. Steve has taken me out past where all the edges are and the mine association to the floodwaters. And look, there's an edgy underwater and our little island. Oh my goodness, what a privilege. And out the back here of this big truck, you'll see another edgy. So there you are, you've had a quick run around the real base pioneering Lightning Ridge mining operation. Bye. visit to the ridge should be without a visit to Herman's Opal Cave, run by Herman who was a miner here many many years ago, and Sandy his wife, and John Murray on the front wall here has depicted a little bit of mining history, and it's a wonderful mural about Herman and the Opal Cave. Let's walk inside quickly. Now we've stopped at the side of the road for Marley to take a look at something very, very special. And you'll see up in the tree all sorts of pods. They look like bags, brown paper bags in the tree. Well, they are filled with grubs, special sort of grub, an insect. And those grubs, when they fall to the ground, or as they fall to the ground, if they get onto you, they get very, very itchy. So you've got to beware. It's something that very few people know about. Even people up here in the ridge generally don't know about it. But Marley's had this other experience, and Desta, my wife, is walking over to get a better view of them. Very special for Marley to see these. We had wanted to go out to, the, to where we know they're in trees at the ridge, but we didn't have time. 
I'll have to find out the name of it. Bye. With Johnny Cash in the background, here we are, probably 30 kilometres out of Walgood on the Camilleroy Highway. And some years ago, I was travelling down this route along the highway, which is ahead of us there, and an old pioneer pointed out to me a horse in a tree. And there you are, there's what the pioneer was pointing out to me. You see all sorts of wonderful things along the road. We photograph farm gates and unusual letterboxes and all sorts of things and signs. But there you are, a horse in a tree as picked out by an old pioneer.